Hey guys, Rock here with another World of Warplanes video. Today we're taking a look at the American XF4U1 Tier 5 Premium Plane. This was an early version of what became the F4U Corsair, and this time it's at Tier 5. And unlike the rest of the Corsair line, this one's actually categorized as a fighter. It has pretty good altitude characteristics, pretty good speed, and pretty good maneuverability. And it has become one of my favorite planes lately, just because it is a very, very good creditor. At Tier 5, you tend to get pretty good battles, so you have lots of potential victims. And it's also very, very cheap to run with just machine gun ammunition. So it tends to be fairly profitable. Most of the time, you can make at least 20,000 credits. In this match, I actually netted uh, over 90,000. So it's good that way. It also tends to be pretty good against most Tier 6s even, and it's fairly versatile too. Even though it only has machine guns, two of them are 50 cal, 12.7mm, so they can still dish out some pretty good damage. So, so far in this battle, I've managed to get up here and get some altitude, and I noticed that everybody is fairly low. I don't quite like that our team has decided to fade in low altitude over the enemy's AA. I really don't like how this is shaking out at all. We have one battle developing here, and another down here. And I look down and notice that that is our tier 7 down there, who's got two on him. So I'm going to come down and try to help him out, because if I can keep our one tier 7 in the game, we'll have an advantage. T-38's got a lot of firepower. He gets marked first, and if nothing else, he's way below his optimum altitude. So he should be fairly easy pickings. A lot of his speed advantage is negated when he's this far down, so... I get on his tail and just pretty much beat him up here. That's one out of the fight. That's a good start. But I've got that F4U Tier 6 Corsair on my tail now. I do have an advantage over him in maneuverability, so I'm going to throw a tight turn here and see if I can shake him off. And with luck, that yak prd will come in and help me out. But he's sure taking his time. So I get locked in a uh, kind of a stalemate turn here. Trying to be patient, let my teammate come in and help me out. It's a pretty even match so far. This could go either way at this point, so as long as I can stay aware and fly well, we've got a pretty good chance. Teammate takes a pass at him, FOU, tries to make a run for it. But with boost, I've got enough speed that I can keep up with him pretty easily. And with my superior maneuverability, it's hard for him to shake me off his tail without boosting away. Got a good pass in on there. And he's sure making me work for it. Right there, managed to get around. There's another one out of the fight. At this point, we're down to just us two on this side. The rest of my teammates have died. And there are three remaining over there, one of them being an IL. So this is not good. If nothing else, they've got a pretty good superiority advantage already. And with that IL still alive and hitting targets, it's just only going to get worse. So I've got to make my way over there and deal with that. I'm going to gain some altitude on the way here. Just try and make sure I have a little bit of advantage over those two remaining fighters. And I don't quite like here that my one remaining teammate has retreated to our AA somehow. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Perhaps he was thinking that the I.O. would be heading that way to look for the bigger targets. I don't know, but don't quite like how that's happened. And so I just kind of have to keep coming here nonetheless. I see the I.O. and I see something else hitting targets to the north, so I mean there's only one fighter unaccounted for. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and get one pass and see if I can get some damage off him. I want to try to get damage in when I can so he doesn't run back to his A.A. Oop, there we go, one fighter, another one. I don't want to go head-to-head -head with that P-40. He's got much better firepower than me. So I'm going to turn on him here. And finally, my teammate is coming back to join me here over the island. So this is improving now. I'm trying to avoid head-to-heads. I don't want to give up any more hit points than I have to. And they're doing a good job of taking turns swiping at me, so I can't really get around on either of them. But I managed to roll on this P-51A. Get some damage off of him, but he's sure taking me a while to take him down. 
Strictly speaking, I've got a maneuverability advantage on him, so if I just keep turning with him, I'll eventually get him. Just gotta make sure he doesn't take too much out of my teammate here before I can finish him off. And there we go. One more. I've got the P-40 on my tail here. Got much better maneuverability than him, so I turn around. Try to avoid taking too much damage. And one thing about the Corsair series is they have a very powerful boosts, so if you come around and hit the gas on somebody, you can catch a lot of things pretty easily. It's not as pronounced as it is with the tier 6 and 7. That was a fun moment there. But it's still pretty good boost. There we go, managed to finish him. Down to that last IL. Now I notice here he's got his nose pointed right at me. So I'm going to dance a little bit. Try not to take any damage. Definitely don't want to go head to head with him. Try to get around on his tail. And unfortunately he managed to finish my last teammate there. Now, in this situation we are down a ton on supremacy. And the best strategy for him is probably going to be just to go north over his AA and uh, use his tail gunner and his AA to try to finish me off. Ideally, in a lot of search circumstances, you're going to want to come in and try to approach him from the top or the sides so that that tail gunner can't get a line on me. However, I want to try to finish him before he gets back to his side. So I just keep one eye down here at my hit points, try to make sure I've got enough left, and just try to make sure I uh, deal more damage than I take managed to finish him off and get the ace medal. There we go guys, thanks for watching, good hunting, see you next time.